Now here's all the parts laid out for issue 30. The ones we get in this issue pack. Um, yeah, um, nice detailed parts to be honest. These uh, pedals are very, very nice. Look um, like sports pedals. Um, obviously got some wires attached to them as well. So obviously going to be some kind of electronics going on there. Uh, hopefully a bit of an easier issue than we had in 29. Um, but hey, yeah, we're going to get into this. Going to get into the build for uh, issue 30. Okay, so the first thing it's asking us to do, it's almost as if they forgot something from issue 29, is we're going to have to fit something to what it calls the power unit, but it means just the engine. So they're going to have to fit this uh, cable or pipes, if you like, from uh, issue 29. So it's this one. It's the only one really we've got less left from issue 29 anyway. You kind of spider pipes everywhere. And so we're going to be fitting this one uh, to the power unit, as it calls it. It says we're going to identify the only one without a connector, the only pipe end without a connector, and that's uh, this one here. As you can see, it's got no connector attached to it. All the others have got connectors on them. Uh, so we're going to be attaching that one and it's going to be going into I don't know if you can see that uh, so yeah so there's a little hole just there that this is going to have to go into and it's the free end the end without the connector is kind of going to go into there hmm. once again this pipe is too large to go into that hole. Okay, that wasn't that easy, but once you get it in, it's not too bad, but it's a little bit wide. That pipe's a little bit wide for that hole, so I had to kind of squeeze the pipe together a little bit. But yeah, okay, so that's in. And then it says to kind of put this away for now. Hopefully we're done now with the um, engine for a wee while or power unit as it calls it. Okay, so bringing over the uh, dashboard from I think it's issue 10 and we're going to be fitting the um, pedal mounting which looks a bit like that from this issue um, it's going to be going on the top so with the dashboard kind of that way around and you're going to bring this part in which is the pedal mounting and there's two screw receptors and there's two holes for the screws so it's just going to be going in that way no, it's not. It's, all right. it's going to be going in that way with those three holes pointing backwards. Like that. And bring that in there, put that in there. And then fix that in place with two type T screws from the underside. So once you've got that in place, you've got two screw holes there that you're going to fit this in. So that looks and that's fitted in. Okay, now we're bringing over the uh, clutch and the brake pedal. Um, make sure that the wires are untangled. Turning this over turn the dashboard over and then identifying where these pins go because it's got two pins they're going to go into there and then you got a hole for the screw and that's going to go into there so it's quite simply going to be fitting in like that so your two pins and your screw hole back make sure you don't clear up any cables in the way give yourself a bit of room and then you're going to fit that in with a tight t screw again Try to avoid nipping that cable as you're going in. 
And then that's the clutch and the brake cable, brake pedal, sorry, assembled. And then it says to press these gently to make sure that they kind of have got a bit of movement in them. Well, you can hear the micro switch operating. Okay. Now that's it for issue 30. Okay, so that's issue 30 done there. Just a quick look at that center picture. Very, very nice once again, a Ferrari uh, 250 LM. Uh, yeah, that was just this um, mainly, just this fit in the clutch and the brake pedal to the uh, dashboard. So very, very nice there. Uh, what's coming in 31? Uh, okay, oh, so it's the gearbox controls and the control unit. So basically the gear stick. Both things, yep. Yeah, uh, H, um, H control gear stick and a few switches and things on that. So I'll be putting that together very shortly. So we're we'll keeping an eye out for that. But hey, thank you very much for watching my presentation of this issue of Build the Ferrari F40 Compezioni. And if you like the progression of this build, then don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed the video, you can always give us a thumbs up or pop any comments in the comments box. But hey, hope to catch you again on the channel soon. Take care and ta-da for now.